Tactical Venture Hose. This is the first part of a tutorial. Basics getting there's a couple little things I recommend buying. Yeah, I mean you don't want these enough to play, but I would get the advanced hunting pack and Yukon. Yukon's probably the favorite because you can get the three hunt. But I would stick to Leighton Lake. When you when you play it's easiest. There's more deer and the deer and the small game is easy to take to level up your weapons because you need to level up your weapons a little bit before you go on to the harder maps. Then, But then once you do it, just play the story modes. But the, you're going to start right down in this general area. And I'm not going to spoil but you're going to start in this general area. And you're going to want to do all your story missions. And you can put markers on them to go wherever you wish. So just say, well... The, they're wanting you to uh, go and go up here to this lookout tower. So we're going to make our wire. You put a lookout, the option button, hit A, and just go up, move this scroll left with the L3 joystick. And you can put a point, remove a point. You can put a point. So we'll just say, well, we're just going to track our way up here. So to move, you're basically going to use your R3 to move it around up. Uh, down left right and you're going to have a few things now we're going to get a little bit later into the inventory and a little later into the game so you're going to have a few things the advanced weapon pack you're going to have a rangefinder bow and a 65 pound bow which is absolutely awesome i'm going to, i could tell you more about that but uh the it is probably by far one of the best Wet, uh, items in the game because it's got that advanced rangefinder. So you tap square and see you see the green dot going up and down. So the further it is, like to that outhouse, you can tap on it and it's 24 yards. Now that green's exactly where the air is going to hit. Now see this log, it's a little closer, it's 13 yards. You notice the green went up. Now right where that green is, that's where your air is going to hit, okay? So it's very important. I, I can't stress enough this advanced is great. It's got the advanced bow sight and a 65 pound bow. You may not have the opportunity to load that up first. Now you're going to want to hit circle. Circle is what you do to go prone. You go prone and animals can't see you. And if you look at the little item down there, do you see which way the pointer's pointing north? That means the wind's coming from the north and blowing to the south. So if I'm down here, and I'm looking this way, moving this way. Any deer down that way toward the green is going to smell me in the south location. Whatever way that wind is blowing, that animals is going to smell you. You do not want to do this. You want to hunt with the wind. Uh, even the Indians use this kind of tactic to hunt, use the wind. And before we go on, you know, left and right, you can equip your weapons on PlayStation 4 by tapping left on the D-pad or right. You know, you can bring your binoculars up and look for deer. And I recommend a tree stand. A tree stand will ease up on hunting pressure. And I guess we could go into the ba basic settings. Tap option. Push a D-pad down the system. And you can adjust all your settings right here. You can adjust your graphics. You can adjust your audio. Uh, your graphic motion blur. Uh, hunt club beta. I suggest you enable that. That will give you a bunch of points as you play. Uh, anonymous data, that's good because that, that'll help them. Your controller options, buttons. Uh, your exit to main menu, game. But this game is the main thing. See it now. I would uh, recommend you. You can choose your own. But I like white on a green. I use like a blue or something on a snow covered or certain areas. But there is a snow map in Medvedtyaga. It's a Russian map, and it's beautiful. It's full of big moose and everything. There's moose here, too. But uh, active track, that's a track, say, say like I'm moving along, and I come onto this animal here, and now this is going to turn red. See, it turned red. Now it's an active track. It tells me it's a very fresh rabbit track. So now if I see another track that's red, that means that animal's heading out that way. Now these tree stands, of course we talked about left, right, you, they're really handy because if you get up in them, they will actually help your visibility. So, so you see the heart down low, see we're looking upwind, 
you see the the middle one and the sound the middle one's almost a ghost now they have to get right up to you to see you but usually they'll stop before they get down in that area and you know and you're going to get a deer call you're going to get this bleat call and you're going to start out with a gun of course if you don't get anything and we'll, we'll use all things and I'll give you some cool hints along the way on what to do what not to do the main thing not to do is never hunt like this toward the wind never 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 you're not going to do very well if you're moving downwind on game any hunter can tell you worthy salt can tell you this and it's just a thing you can call pretty much pretty good the only thing it's hard to do is calling in a a red zone which uh i call it this like these zones here are hard to call animals in when you get this color the animals don't react too much to the colors and stuff but like i say this is just a, the basic start of a tutorial welcome to the show and uh, you know you never want to hunt that way you you can but it's not worth the time uh, just this game is not no Call of Duty game. It's not a fast-paced game There's times when it is when you get into a herd of deer deer They will come right back now gun. It seems like sometimes they never come back But I've shot in whole herds of deer with a bow and you can use cover See this cover knows how this cover blends you in Did you see how it went from almost nothing in between the heart and the uh, sound now out here they can see you but right here I am a ghost this is ghost mode right there that is when you are a ghost not to confuse it with anything I doubt that and and brush brush is another thing that will hide you from wildlife See, you can get right in here and animals will creep right in you don't have to have the trees Dan but it does come in handy if you put it in certain locations all right so that's basic the sound running and circle is the button it'll in on PlayStation 4 up and down and you can lay down of course your ghost again all right now this is the basics we're not going to get into the other stuff here uh, well, I will show you how to switch maps at the end of this video it's not gonna be long we're just gonna hunt our way up to the top here now to activate the track you see that you go over and hit square now it's red so now that deer anywhere he goes he's going to leave a track i heard something see that deer's leaving a red red cast on his track could have been a rabbit Now I shot one a little bit ago. See right there, right there at the blood. See, I shot him a little bit ago, a blood trail. So let's go up here and see if this deer, I'd say this deer expired up here. So we'll just move up here and track him up a little bit. We'll go ahead and just track him on up. See, there's the blood, he's going this way. He's running right up through here. See, she kind of dropped it's a doe now mine will show even the sex now as you level up see it's a pink with a question mark at the doe it's a doe so that's you'll get that leveled up and that'll come in really hot and handy for you I mean you know that's really super duper when you can get it that way if you can get it that way so I think this is where she came down Morning, bunny. So see over here is where the doe went. See that little red marker? That's what you gotta watch for. It's easy to get loose track. Yeah. And you can see it went right up here. See the tracks?
if you hit them in the heart and stuff now they they are going to change they are changing some stuff on here and making things a lot better so my thought is uh, it's going to get better because they're they're coming up with a new scoring system so she must be over here going and they will heal up if you don't hit them good and of course there she is I must not hit her too good of course I'm using partition uh, not the very good round yeah see they haven't updated the hunting thing yet but they're going to you can taxiderm it I just cash them in uh, go to all these little uh, eyes points of interest I call them pay attention to that too because that's animals alerts and it's going to ask you to go up here and head to a lookout tower we'll do that of course because it's part of the game then we're going to go to a, a, a waypoint so you'll get to see deer when you first start down here in Layton Lake and of course you'll want to come here because this is all about XP and I will give you some trips tips and tricks so you're going to come here and you're just going to look around hunt some deer on the way and you're going to head to that lookout tower of course go to your trusty map and you're going to go to this map uh, right here then you then we're going to go then it's going to ask you to go to a cat outpost and it's going to have a thing that you check that in remember circle is your profile if you get down animals can't see you as much and when you let, run like that animals can hear you a lot further away it's a good game it's a good exploration game there's a lot of different types of uh, story modes in the game each uh, region has its own specific story zone uh, I like this because it's part of the western United Northern West United States Rockies and it's one of my favorite hunting locales it's just I love the western maps I wish I think they're gonna put out a desert map myself because uh, see as you can see there's coyotes in the game do your story mission because it's it, it's tremendous XP tremendous cash you want to get in-game cash now the animals are really thick in different spots now if you've been hunting a spot for a long time tower up it's going to open up your map for more tree stand locations or you know there's permanent ones they cost money to build I just recommend buying that one tree stand you know I'll probably never build another pay to have a tree stand and of course you're going to come here and you're going to activate this by pressing square come up to here this look out point and hit square and it's going to have a little cut scene to look around you know so there's a deer down there somewhere down there so let's just get him up the hill here and bust him may go down the ladder a little bit Watch out for collectibles too. There are collectibles all over the map. And you will get an ATV. So the next place we're going, we'll just go we'll just uh we'll just go down here because this is a tutorial. And we're gonna and believe me, we're gonna get into tree stand placement and everything. We're gonna we're gonna cover a lot of things, but we're gonna keep the video short. Because we're just, you know, doing this like a tutorial beginning. You know, you're just going to start here and come down through here. All the stories probably pretty much start the same way. They start you in the beginning of a map and move you on to hunt an animal, take an animal, spot an animal, shoot an animal, track it, harvest it, like you just saw me do. And then, of course, you're going to move on to the lookout tower. And then you're going to move on over to the outpost, which... Here in a few seconds is I'm going to show you how to equip different ammo scopes if you choose to buy other equipment how to equip it and need zones we'll cover need zones it's more a little bit more medium we're, we're, we'll get into that in a little bit probably the next video but right now I want to get you into uh, 
just this little deal here of uh, moving and collecting and setting up your equipment then we'll get into the other now you can run by just simply pushing forward if you want to just hit circle and you notice your heart rate's way up remember you can use brush you can use brush to hide in trees see how the center between the heart and the sound disappeared that means the animals can't see you by little pines we'll show about tree stands too like I said, we'll do that a little later. Now, I've already spotted and came and found him. Now, there is a nice way to level up. I'll tell you a little secret. You can uh, get a good friend that's got all these found, like Michael Vance. And I can take you and take a tent and invite you to multiplayer, your multiplayer. And I can go to each lookout, and you can come here and get each one. So, you'll come here and hit square at this fence post. Have a little cut scene and everything here, okay? Now, this is your cabin. It's to sleep and change your time. If you want to change your time to, uh, say you want to change your time a little bit after uh, dark, of course you want to go up to 1900. Now it's totally night, see. Say, you know, you want to take your time all the way in the morning. Say we'll go to like 6 o'clock in the morning. There you go. Now it's daylight again. So once you get these little places done, you can do this in the tent. You can rest, change your time and go to your access and as you level up your weapon <coughs> you unlock more things so I'm going to show you how to equip a scope and ammo to your gun so you go to this access cache on any map on any any of these uh, outposts or your tent you can do this at any one of them and you can also fast to travel by highlighting tap X see you can fast track and fast travel all the way back Okay, so tap square there. It's pretty easy to follow. And when you go to the store, this is the area where you're going to want to be. Just scroll down to ammo, and you're going to go hit X, and tap X to activate it on the ammo. And you're going to go down to the uh, polymer tip, and you're going to buy them. All right, buy a polymer tip now. And say you, I oh, want well, enough money, and you've unlocked a scope. And you want to equip a scope, so. You're going to go right down there and say, well, you know what? I'm going to go down. I want, I've got this new scope. This scope, I want to try it. i got this new scope. And uh, I want to see. You go down the sights. See me going down the sights? Go down the si rifle sights. Hit X there. Then go down and say, hey, I just unlocked this scope here. I want to, I want to get that thing. You know, I want to get this scope right here. You know, I've already got it. So you hit X if you got the, enough cash. 1200 it takes a lot of points to get up there to get it all right so you, so you add by then now you hit circle back out to where it's highlighted where you can move up and down on that left side see it says 658 real time in the game 19 minutes we've been streaming so go down to storage and your character of course this is where your character you can change that and you can buy all that stuff we'll talk about that a little later now storage go to storage this is where every, all your stuff is you buy so say hey man i just bought that scope and i'd like to try that that new scope right there okay so tap x and it goes over to your inventory all right now go up to your ammo and say well heck i even bought some cool arrows man i bought some uh, i bought some 600 grain tracer arrows with that and i'd like to try them heavier arrows man to kill the bear all right, so just hit X on it. It'll go over to but watch your total carrying capacity. It's 13.23 to 23. So don't go over that or, you know, you'll have some problem, a little bit of problem. So we got to go up here and find the ammunition that we, in our locker that we just purchased. So there it is, the 243 polymer. See, so go right down there to the 243 polymer and hit X. Okay, now once you're done here, and of course here's your garage you can tap x go down to garage and you can activate any free four-wheeler all right so see the four-wheelers here now okay now you want to equip all that stuff say well man how do you equip that well you hit options go to inventory hit x on the item go to your weapon 
the weapon that you have and go to the ammo and type X. Go down to the polymer tip. See, highlight the polymer tip and hit it like that and see now and say well man how do you equip them big heavy arrows well you just tap x go up to your bow there it is now them items is on that bow but wait did i tell you about the scope go down to hit x on inventory it'll flash see it flashes there go down the site scroll down with the x until it's highlighted there's that new nice big scope see i just put that big scope then you just hit back 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 and now now when we load up now I got these different kind of feathers you see them right there they're orange them orange feathers and now I got a different type of uh, scope now my scopes a lot bigger so we'll move right over here and try to call that deer in see how the wind's blowing too it's a little tricky Get in some brush right here. We'll try to call this bad boy in. Now gun, there's a vintage of having a gun and a bow. We talked about that. You can see the straight line there. You can call three times and just wait. Give it time. Just give it time. This is safe. No animal's gonna smell you over here to the east in this general direction. No animals is gonna smell you. We'll talk about a little bit of the other ways to hunt too. And some beautiful places that I got purposely picked out for a great hunting opportunity. It's a patient game. It ain't something that you're gonna rambo through and run and gun. If this this is, might not be the game for you if that's what you want. It's a hunting game. There's no silencers or nothing like that. Cause that'd be definitely on illegal in most countries and states keep your uh, items close to your gun you can push forward on the d-pad to telescope in you can push back to pull it back Now that's what a lot of people do. They run and when they Same thing with the sh gun. Push up on the D-pad to telescope in, back to back up. It's a shame we ain't seen too many deer in this stream. And that, that happens sometimes in this game. It's just, you know, it's just how the cookie, cookie crumbles. Some of my favorite places in the game is right here. I see them there. I guess we could talk a little bit about the need zones but as you run over need zones they will light up that's when you spot deer and stuff in the area 
and track animals they lead you into the feeding zone so see there's a deer as you know he's lit up so if I was going to shoot this deer and I hit him pretty good so that's a long shot really that's a long shot and uh, that's normal aim I mean these need zones are very easy to use it, it, you know if you want to hunt your need zones you can harvest all the does and that way it'll preserve the, your bucks even though the deer don't really grow so once you come into the need zone like this see you can't see much about it but when you go on your map and you go to the need zone it, it'll light up when you say we'll go to this one see it'll say white-tailed jackrabbit from 5 to 11 30 is uh and it's three minutes away walking distance so that's what i'm saying it's uh you know that's the time they're active now this deer zone right here when they're when they're it's a white-tailed uh oh i guess that's a jackrabbit zone okay all right cool that's cool that's cool too we're okay with that it's no biggie now we know the deer was up here on the hill so i don't know how good i hit him that deer was uh you know it wasn't the greatest shot but i'd say that's him see it's blue there's the blood right there you see it's not a very good hit but the way to tell if he he's down see he's not down there's no pink light pink it would be a light pink if he's down and i'll just tell you right there you know it would have been pink if he if he was a goner now you can keep calling as you track see he's already down to 75. he's going back toward the tower oh okay now when they run back into their tracks like this this can be a little tricky looks like he just went straight Of course, you can keep hitting your map. Oh, heck, I think that's him, ain't it? That ain't him. That's just some more deer coming up through there. <laughs> that's funny. So, like I say, it can get exciting. I mean, you know. And you can tell what they're doing, the deer are doing by their track. See, he's on our dead run down the darn hill. See, he's dead. That deer is about ready to die. See, it's down to 25, 50. So they're still working on this game, of course. There's some errors and stuff. And every now and then it don't work properly. But that deer, uh, he might heal and just be okay. Yeah, he's at 25.50. Hey, I've seen him heal up and walk away. When I get down to 25, you know, it's really awesome. Usually when I get down like that, that right there, it usually means disaster for them. Both arrows really open up better I think on the white tails and you find them a lot quicker usually I think it causes more blue. See it's down to 25 but is he dead? Well it ain't showing he's dead where I shot him. Unless it's glitched. Now that's possible. I have had that happen before. I've had it glitch before. Now, if them animals get back to the need zone, sometimes, see, he disappeared. This deer just disappeared off the face of the earth. See, that's what I call the animal glitch. See, notice how the animal just glitched out? Gone. Now, that does happen. That ain't very good for selling a game, is it? 
they definitely need to work on a few issues here, but it, it's still a good game, and they keep everybody, uh, they keep everybody, uh, up to speed on their, uh, the, their, uh, Twitter page, so I will say that. So that deer glitched out. It's two, some of my favorite hunting spots on this map, on this particular map, where I find there's always a lot of deer is up here on Chila. I just put a tin here and a tree stand. Right here, it's one of my most fa favorite hunting spots any time of the day. Just make sure your wind's good, and usually the deer come this way, so yeah. And another place that I like really well is right over here. As you can tell, it's pinked out. Over here's another favorite spot of mine that I like to hunt. It's a really good spot to bow hunt and deer hunt with your, as you can see, all the need zones from uh, ducks, uh, white moose and deer and a lot of blacktail right in here in this area. And there's a lot of black, another, another choice place for blacktail is this whole river bottom here. The whitetail are pretty thick all over the map and look around for collectibles and stuff. But right here is one of my favorite areas to hunt. Now I got a tree stand here so I can just fast travel. Once you put a tent down, you can fast travel to any of them. You can leave them. If you're having troubles with them, a beaver knocking them down, it says a beaver took your tree. Move your stand a little ways. There might be something interfering with it. And of course, you know, you can go from there. As you can see, I got a tripod here. Uh, you can always come up here and hunt. I have a lot of luck up here with hunting, but it's one of my favorite places to bow hunt and bear hunt. I don't know if we'll see anything right now, but I just moved from one place to another. But you can carry a tree stand with you. You can carry a portable. You can carry a couple items with you. At least the animals spawn better in this game than in Red Dead. <laughs> Burn. <laughs> yeah, I think they're working on it because animals seem to be spawning good in low count rooms where there's under 20 players. But we're not here to talk about Rockstar's Red Dead. We're here to talk about this tutorial, so... I hope this video helps you out a little bit. Next time we come back, we're going to talk a little bit about need zones, uh, tree stand placement, and some advanced options. But before I go, I'm going to show you how to switch maps. So you press the option button. Okay, see how it's lit up? Don't hit any button, but hit square. And that'll bring up your reserve map. I've got them all. Say I want to go to Yukon or any map that you have you just simply highlight it to where it says Yukon or whatever or if you want to go over there to uh, Hersham Fielding this is the newest map they've released Quattro Colinas uh, I look for them to put a western map put it down there toward Texas or something I look for them to put that out soon I also look for them to put an Australian map out probably another Canadian map or something like that or maybe an Iceland map you never know I, I look forward to that maybe even another African map so that Berhong is a beautiful hunting map it's awesome lines mm. but say we want to go to this map and this is the last thing we'll do before we move on this section so we'll tap X and that'll launch you right into that area and you'll you can play the storage you can shut the story missions off and i already showed you that in the previous part how to do that but if you like this video and found it to help you out please leave a like and subscribe for more videos and i got a ton of video gaming videos and how to's it said mevataga didn't it it ain't mevataga it said mevataga didn't it that ain't Medvatiaga. It's Yukon Valley. This is Medvatiaga. So what's Medvatiaga say? Yukon? That's definitely a hiccup. 
I just noticed that, man. So what's Mesopotamia say? They cost these maps cost you about six ninety nine. The, the weapon packs and stuff cost you about three ninety nine. I like the tree stand pack. Yeah, now that's Medvedaga. That's the snow map. This is what I play in Christmas time. See, it says Medvedaga. I think the Yukon. I think it said Yukon. So, like I say, you remember? Remember what I said? You uh, tap option, hit square. I meant hit option, tap square. Or wait a minute, you hit X first. You got to make it dis lighten up. See the map where it light hit X on it. That lightens it up. See how it lighted up. When you hit X, it lightens up. Then you hit square on the PlayStation. So make sure that that goes kind of dull. Now you can uh, and also see you can get the points of interplayer and all that. All right, but. Uh, There, that's pretty cool, ain't it? So make sure you tap X on a map, select your map, and you just tap X when you get it highlight to a certain map, and that's how you transport from map to map. I think we'll carry on on part two in uh, Yukon territory. It's a it's a beautiful map to hunt, and it's got dangerous game. I like the dangerous part of it. And there's big game up here. This is the heavy duty boys up here. You got Grizz. You got Big Moose up here. You got Buffalo. Yeah, it does say Medvataga. Wow. That's definitely goofed up, ain't it? It does say Medvataga. That's a big, uh, that's a big goof. <laughs> I wonder if they know that. I wonder if they really know that that's that goofed up. Well, heck, they probably don't know. There's wolves here, too, and that, that always makes it fun to hunt the wolves. Yeah, that's kind of goofed up there. I just I just noticed it said Medvataga for Yukon. So I thought that was interesting. So we'll try it again and see if it does that again. Let's try it again. Let's let's go somewhere like uh, a different map. So let's uh, go to let's go to Africa. So Verhonga is a really cool storyline. It's kind of weird, but it's cool. It's got rhino in it. It's got lines too, which makes it really fun. The lines are really interesting. They don't really attack you or anything. I don't know. They may. Depends how peed off you get. So, see, that's right. Fewer trees and it's open. So, yeah, let's see if we go back to Yukon. I'm going to have to tell them about this. On PlayStation 4, when you go to the Yukon territory, it, calls, it says it's Medvedaga. <laughs> the Russian map. Which I like all of it. I like all the maps. This is probably one of my favorite maps, so. So let's see what it says. I want to take a picture of it. Yeah, it does say Medbin National Park. Yeah. Wow. It said, I took a screenshot of it. I'm sorry about that. But thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate you watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe. Uh, there will be more coming. So thank you very kindly for your time and patience in the game. I appreciate it. Have a good one, everybody. Peace out.